Hi guys, welcome back to Morley Square and we are at the Riverside Museum, Transport Museum in Glasgow and if it's your first time watching this video and this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell and stay up to date with all of the Morley Square videos going forward and we are going to see some cool stuff. Tram. Very, very cool. And then something new. Something new. Something old. Something new. Something old. It's a Tesla. Should we see the old police car? Or police car? Very old, strap five, police car. All the wee dials and switches on the board. The tram used to go from Springburn to London Road to Link Lake Bank. That's awesome. You used to be able to get onto that when you used to come in here, you used to be able to get onto it. Yeah. You did. And then you could go inside and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. And there's what the old electric cars used to look like. The old Honda Hybrid. Oh. That's that's what we've gone from. We've gone from the Honda Hybrid to the Tesla. Yeah. This the size of this thing. Huge. Absolutely massive. Very, very cool old steam train. Let's go up and take a look inside. Wow. How would you even know what all them did? I think it's massive and there's for you had to look out of. And I'm assuming then this would be in a coal train trailer behind. And same with this one here as well. Very, very cool. Imagine what it was like getting your coal, shoving it in to make it go. It's huge! Then you go from that to that. It's hanging off the end there. That's uh, scared the life out of me when I looked up. It's cool, you can actually see inside and the size of the the size of the wheels on this absolutely huge this old tram bus from Douglas Street Bridgeton Cross it's an old an old tram bus Double decker, I might add. How oh, cool that looks inside. Buses don't look that cool these days. Not even close. Very, very cool. Oh, look. From that to that to that. An old Ford. All the way up. To up there. Look this. This is a classic car. Old Ford Capri. Super, super classic. Very, very popular. And it would have... Yeah, it, that's how much it would have cost you brand new. Very, one of the most popular cars in Britain. That's actually quite cheap for the car. In the time, Ford Capri. Don't make them like that anymore, guys. That's or that. Cheap now. Absolutely beautiful. 
an old fire engine in the old fireman's outfit Very cool. So they would have hung up, went up the, up the ladders. That's awesome. Some more really old cars there. An old caravan. Oh, that's awesome. Check that out. There's a cat family coming home, but it wasn't stationary. For all but a few weeks of a year, they towed it around Scotland during the fairground rides. That's awesome. I'd, I'd still live in that today. It's actually got a, like an almost full size kitchen in it. And that would have been the seat, that would have been the bit that was there. Modern day train. Oh. As always guys, due to the current situation, we actually can't get inside. But you can see And another old fire engine. That's a proper old fire engine, that one. Look at this. What looks to be an old taxi. Did you not be in your taxi? There's your delivery pickup truck. Awesome. There's the old bikes. That looks like the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang car. In your spare tyre. Reminds me of the car that used to have in the wind and the willows. Uh-huh. Look at that, not a bike. No, the old bikes. Yeah, Old Taurus. At the top there. There's the old touring bikes. That you travel with. What looks to be a Speedway bike. Then you got your hair dryer bike. And then your modern day kind of Ducati. Right down here. Absolute beauty. That we've gone from bikes like this to that. Awesome. Yeah, it would be well cool if we could get inside. But again, guys, due to the current situation, obviously we're not allowed to go anywhere like that. I want to go. I want to go in here. Get into the old underground. No. We will take Lolly on the underground and Jacob on the underground one day. That's the old underground train. How cool that is inside. It's actually quite small though because when I stand up full height, I'm taller than it and it doesn't seem to go down very low. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm short. And I'm like really short. That's awesome. You would have had to duck to get in there. And here we have one of Britain's most successful selling motors of all time. The Mini. Didn't get any finer back in the day. This one isn't actually a Mini Cooper, but it's the same style. 
If you had one of these, you were cool. We've got an old cobble street. This is what the trams were to would have went on. Along with these. That being the first carriage. He just fell off the cab. So this looks to be like a calf. I'm sure it says that there. Although it looks a little bit like a barn. The door's locked. We've got a bootmaker, an old cobbler, an old shoemaker's. No pawn shop. You'd go and sell your unwanted goods for money. And then a saddler's. An old repair shop for your, your horsey stuff. Saddles and whatnot. Oh, you can actually get in this one. This is where they would come and get all the saddles repaired or new saddles, bits for your horses. And there's the tram that would have rode on the rails. No. Oh, an old tram pulled by horses actually. And the old tramways. Photography shop before cameras for YouTube. Oh yep. Toys, an old steam car. So, Wait, how do you get into that? Over here. The size of the wheels, if that's Lily. And that's the wheel. <laughs> These out. Family butchers. Cut bridge. Do you know what they're to replicate? The Blitz. Glasgow Blitz. It'll be my favourite place. The pub. Yeah, yeah in old first box. My favourite place. An old pub. In the old subway. Cool. Very cool. That's what the old subway would look like. No wooden seats that you would have sat on on the train. Hey, watch out! <laughs> Very cool. It is a little bit taller than the other ones, yeah. We've got another train here and some cool old style bikes. Let's go and have a look up in this train. North British Railway. Now this is a big one. Very big. Big huge wheels on it. Very cool. <laughs> the car of the future. Three wheeler. It's an old ambulance here. 
old Bedford trap. And some really, really cool cards that I'll try and see if I can get some. But what they do have is my dream car I've always wanted and will one day hopefully have Porsche 911 Turbo. Everybody had Ferraris and stuff on their walls when they were a kid. I had one of these on my wall as a kid. Absolute beauty. They do not make cars like that anymore. And it would be my dream to own, drive one of these. Beautiful. So up here, up these stairs and see this old train, I will be able to turn around and give you quite a good wee tour of the cars that are up high. First off we'll do this. That's an even bigger train. Wow. And these are the cars here. There's an old Royal Mail van. An old Metro. Beautiful, beautiful cars. And again, my favourite car of them all. It's probably that one down there. There's the size of that train. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Trying to get out the way of the train coming. Look at this little thing. It's tiny. <laughs> it's your steering wheel. <laughs> These are biting side carts. And here is a modern day Mini Cooper. Not as good as the original. And this one has been crashed. This is clearly the crash test Mini Cooper. A bit ruined, but still very cool. There's an old taxi, the old black hackneys. Very, very old taxi. Very cool. Only surviving locomotive of the Number nine is a tank engine. It carries its own fuel and water rather than pull a tender. Very, very cool. Extremely cool. But, guys, uh, that brings us to the end of this little look around the Riverside Museum and Transport Museum. Hopefully you enjoyed that and please hit that subscribe button, that notification bell and stay up to date with all of the more literature videos going forward. And we will catch you in the next one, guys.